Hey viewer, um, <laughs> welcome back to my channel. I know I haven't posted in a long time. August was quite crazy. This month I will be traveling around the southern part of Japan, at least for two weeks. I am trying very hard not to anticipate anything, not to have any expectations, and just to take it one day at a time and take any opportunity that comes um, as it comes. Wish me luck. We started spraying and squirting things, so I didn't really understand how that was working, and it was a little bit alarming, I'm not gonna lie. Um, so I think I'll just stick to like the functions that I know of the toilet. Um, so yeah, basically, oh my gosh, yeah, wow. too like intimidated to ask what I should eat at the places that all the pictures look like everything has meat in it. Oh Gone. shall we? Con uh, say con Okay. Okay. But now it's like wooden barrels a bit worried that 14 days is going to be too long for this whole trip but it's beginning to seem like it's just the right amount of time actually because the days are just flying by still can't really get over the whole jet lag thing it's really um, starting to eat into my my energy store now but the show must go on of kabuki in japan for those of you who don't know kabuki is a theatrical art form in japan the two main ones are no theater and kabuki and kabuki originated as the commoners version of no it was actually easier to follow than an opera it was fantastic i thought the set was gorgeous the costumes were beautiful all the actors on stage were men including the female characters the movements and everything you kind of just forgot that you were watching men acting as females so that was really fascinating it was amazing um, the majority of the audience members were like senior citizens some of the things that i found really peculiar during the first interval which was 30 minutes long as soon as the lights went up people literally rummaged in their rucksacks and pulled out like bento boxes and like everybody and started 
just munching like they were at a big feast. And then also, almost from the beginning of the show, shouted echoes would come from somewhere and I really thought it was part of the show. So then I was like, okay, is this just unruly audience members shouting from the audience in Kabuki Theatre and it's the thing. The actors know that they're going to be there and sometimes they actually wait to, to finish delivering their line like in anticipation that um, that person is going to shout some sort of encouragement or something because I guess it has the effect of hyping the actors up and also hyping the audience up. of the Japanese Alps. Beautiful, picturesque, idyllic, super relaxed, super calm. I really liked Tokyo but I didn't realize that I was holding my breath the whole time I was there. It's a little bit hectic except for in the morning when we were woken up by um, sirens outside and a big emergency alert. I didn't find out until after the missile from North Korea had passed over to the other side of the country that it was a, a missile. Um, Anyway, fortunately, there weren't any casualties or anything like that. Um, hopefully, the thing doesn't escalate. Mm -hmm. 